Hello everyone, welcome to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones as the Beesburys. We're playing as Lord Rui, who is currently Lord of Honeyhold as well as Old Town. And we are uh, no longer directly sworn to High Garden. We're now um, still sworn to the High Towers, but our liege, Lord Luther, is ruling from Torrent Peak, which was uh, House Ambrose before. But I think House Ambrose, yeah, is now. Well, actually, this is a different House Ambrose, but they're now ruling over. Um, the Lord Buff Vandellan, which is uh, a shame because we're no longer allied, even though my sister is the current Lord's mother. Um, but yeah, that's very unfortunate. I don't know if I can invite her to court. I cannot, but I could arrange a marriage for her, and that would make her come um, to my... I think what we're gonna do, yes, she's 29 years old, she can still marry. Uh, I think we're gonna not marry her to our rival. Um, yeah, she doesn't have a lover. So that's what we're gonna do. I want my sister back, and um, we're gonna do that by marrying off to uh, one of our courtiers, Rickard Waldkin. Uh, he's 18 years old. Uh, he's a formidable fighter. He wants to marry, so I think that would uh, make a lot of sense. So yeah, you can. And he is. Um, he would gain 22 uh, prestige, but he is uh, highborn as well. So I think that's a good way to get our family back. Now, also I have. Uh, made some changes to the game how uh, to the save file I edited it a little bit um, because first of all we wanted to get a new um, nickname for well, well a nickname at all for Lord Isaac um, we wanted to call him the unfortunate but sadly um, I could only choose from a certain list of, of um, predetermined nicknames and uh, the only one I could really find that would fit was Lord Isaac the unlucky so yeah there's that so He's now known as Lord Isaac the Unlucky, and um, our current Lord Rui also had somewhat of a um, very sweaty dream where he, well actually that comes out wrong, but anyway, so he was dreaming that he should rename his son um, Brian to Walter. So he will be Walter Beesbury, the quick lad, he, who's unfortunately also Craven. He will be the fourth character in a row that is named after... Um, after viewers, so that's so that's very good. Um, anyways, uh, let's actually start the game, and hopefully our sister will uh, come to our court now. At least, I definitely wish. Okay, so we are being asked to become commander, but again, we do not want to have anything to do with the high towers. It's it's really, we don't want that. Um, in fact, we still have our dude over here, Justice Sir Tommen. Uh, to get as a claim, and uh, okay, my nephew Garland has accepted. So now my sister is back safely in Honeyhold. Very good. She doesn't like me that much, actually. Uh, Liege's claimant, uh, no Craven. There you go. She's a title claimant. Okay, whatever. It's it's fine. Um, the poor have been fed, and your pious standing has improved. That's very nice. We actually have quite a lot of piety. Look at that. But that's because we're humble and content. Our prestige is not as high, unfortunately. But we do also have... Oh, look at that! Look how much money we're making! Wow, that's huge! Alright, um... What do we do? What do we do with this? We gotta do something with our money, don't we? Um... We could change some of this. We have large city taxation. That's that's fine. We've changed that because... Um... The, the masters over here... Um... In... In Honeyhold have not given us loans. Well, actually, our father has not gotten any loans when he would ask for them. So now they have to pay extra. Now my uncle is still the uh, designated heir, and um, he's ruling over Farhief, and he's married to Olena. Okay, but I'm still, I'm still his his uh, heir. That's very good. So we can give out um, the city title to someone else. Um, if our uncle dies, which is quite nice, I think. So we're actually heir to Norcross, Farheave, and Old Town. Mm -hmm. So we still do not have a son, but you do have an outlawed guild. Okay. Is your wife pregnant? No, oh, and she's 42. So we might actually be able... Yeah, he married them herself. We didn't do that. We did not arrange that marriage. Actually, first he was married to some lowborn reachmen, which get, uh, yeah. Poor old lady, she got the, the plague. And now he's married to a Botherwell, but uh, the Botherwells are of um, Asgoroth, I think. 
and no longer. So it must be a Tranta. Yeah, there we go. So that's the Butter Wells. Um, but she's old. Only three more years of baby making, and then we might we might inherit no cross. It's possible. And we have been invited to a tournament by um, Lord Clayton, the Careless. Unfortunately, we are still wounded, so I think um, we're not going to do this. We're going to lose prestige for that, yes, and that sucks. But I think it just makes sense if you're wounded to not go to a tournament. It just you shouldn't really be asked. Um, but I think we're just going to attend. Yes, I think watching it probably makes sense. Uh, even though we are wounded, I think if you again, I've said that several times, but I think if you wound, you shouldn't really leave your castle. But I, we don't know how severe this wounding is or this this wound is, so I guess we can just uh, watch but not participate. Okay, so Janna is still in River Run, married to Miles, who has a yeah claim on the Stormlands and Riverlands. So perhaps she's gonna be uh, a Lady Paramountess. That's quite cool. Maybe we want to go forward at least a little bit faster. Now, we do have a lot of gold. What do we want to do? Do we want to build up Honey Hold? I think... Hmm... We could build Petrol Post, which gives us garrison size and heavy infantry. Castle Town would also probably help a lot. That's 180 gold, but that's going to increase our income by a bit. We also build a Castle Town here. I think what we're going to do is the following. We're going to make the High Tower our capital. Simply because it's just a better city, you know, it's it has three sub holdings, although Technically we can get four sub cities in Honeyhold, which makes it probably richer, but um, This is just a small Reachman castle, but so is is the high tower Hmm, I really don't know Okay, current base tax is 10. What's the, what's the base tax here? 8.7 but that's because it's our capital. So if we change all of that, collect taxes, then... Yeah. Egan Kidwell has fought well. Okay. I was thinking that we're probably going to make Old Town our capital. Although, maybe not. I mean, I don't know. It, it seems like it's a better, better castle, but... Maybe after all, it's not. Honestly, I'm not going to pay too much attention to this tournament because... Eh, it gets old after a while, you know? Um... I could build a fort. I could build a fort. Maybe I should do that. I really still I still don't really know why I should. But I don't know, I've never done it, so might as well want to do it at some point. Um We are in command. We're leading troops in Old Town. Oh. There's raiders. Well, let's raise the men. A thousand two hundred men. And we have Rhaegal Valerion leading the charge. Alright, there we go. Kill these raiders. Okay, we've destroyed them. And let's stand them down. And then we can choose a ambition. No, not ambition. An education for our son and heir, Walter Beesbury. And he will obviously be groomed for command. And he will be... I yeah, will spend highly on him. So, that he will... He might get the best education possible. Now that we have... What is this? Luch of Torn Peak. That's that's not what I want. Um, don't want a claim on Torn Peak. I want a claim on the High Lordship of Old Town. That's that's what I want. Now, um, our two daughters. We have uh, the strong daughter Lamore, and then we have Layla. We're currently educating both of them. We probably want to have to give up one of them to our wife. Perhaps the one. Perhaps Layla. Perhaps Layla. Or well, actually. Uh, I don't know. One of these has to be educated by our wife. But they could complain to me about my daughter Lemur's, temp Lemur's temper tantrums. Apparently she punched her son in the face. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the cook's son. Uh, I see. Uh, I see. Um, again. So the, ki the, the kid shows spirit. Uh, she punched someone. We are wrath. Um, yeah. We are wrath, though we would kind of do the same thing, but we're also content. Uh, beat her into being calm. The kid shows spirit. Pray for soul. We're not going to do that. Um, the kid shows spirit. We could think that that's funny, but I think as a lord, we know that we're, we are bad-tempered. 
so I think what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna beat our kid again. <laughs> well, we're actually, I think this is the first time that we beat our kids. Um, that's our strong daughter. She is wroth. You know what? Yeah, beat her into being calm. And it did not have any effects. I think that was the right decision. Again, it, again, guys, it's it's difficult to to make decisions here concerning roleplay, but I think um, so far I've not made any stupid mistakes, um, except maybe for one thing, that I married this woman. That was really there was no actual roleplay role reason. I I have to admit that. So I kind of fell off, or yeah, fell off track. I'd say, but it's fine. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that again. But yeah, um. So Walter soon enough will need a guardian to see after him. After him. Who's this? Lady Patrola of Ivy Hall? Um. Yes, this is below me. I will not attend your tournament. She's a lunatic. Jesus. And her... Yeah. Okay. I don't know why if a... Maybe it's because a woman asks and we... If we don't want, then... We don't lose prestige. I don't. I don't know how this how this works. Sometimes you lose prestige. Sometimes you don't. Um, but yeah. So how's Kidwell is gonna lose the lordship of Ivy Hall? Ah, that's unfortunate. Have you always held that castle? Is that your ancestral keep? It is. And the first lord died in battle against Aegon the first. Interesting. Well, I think personally, I don't wanna. I don't wanna give up Honeyhold as our capital. I think. Oh, the High Septon has died. Well, that's very unfortunate. Um, no, you know what? I really... No, I don't want to give up Honeyhold as our capital. Honeyhold will stay our capital, so we're going to build a castle town now. Yep, let's do that. I don't, I don't know. I just don't feel like Honeyhold should... Should ever be ruled by someone else. I want Honeyhold as our capital. So what we're going to do is... Um, once our son comes of age and has a son himself... So that our... Our line is secure. We're gonna give him Old Town to rule and learn how how to do things. And then he's gonna come back to Honeyhold, and we're gonna have to save up a little bit of cash in order to. Oh, what has happened? Reyna of Reyna's host, Reyna Targaryen, wielding dark sister. Wow, attractive, skilled fighter lady, wielding dark dark sister. Who's she riding? Arknai, Arknai, a attractive lunatic dragon as well. Okay. So, Ryder and Dragon are both lunatic, and so is a husband that works perfectly fine, and he is riding Arthogon, very weak in young dragon, and she has declared her war on King Damien the Monstrous. The problem is... Yes. Oh, she's been supported by Roman of the Crossing. The phrase of the Crossing, who no longer hold the twins, although... Well, the phrase still hold the twins, but it's not the current lord. The Brackens will inherit. Anyways, so she's been supported by, or he's been supported by the Veil. Vale. Okay, and he has the Stormlands and the Riverlands still under his con control because he holds the Lord Paramountsies. Interesting. Well, oh, oh, what happened? Lords of Riverlands have approved the institution of medium taxes. Um, okay, so. Lord Luther, our liege, is supporting our king, Damien. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Look how many troops he's getting. 2,500. Septon Hosman. Wow, we're, look at how many troops we provide for our liege. We are providing most of the troops. Look at our brother. He's providing 85. 85 dudes. We provide 2,500. That's ridiculous. But we actually have quite a lot of men ourselves. Look at that, 2,300. Man, I'm still not sure what we're gonna do with Honeyhold. This provides us with 1,900 men. Whereas this could give us 1,900 as well. Now here we have the negative castle tax. That's 50%, but we have a trade route. The, the current base tax is high. Is It's 10... 10.27. What is the current base tax here? It's actually much lower. Alright, you know what? I think... Alright. No, we are gonna make Old Town a capital. Alright, fine. And, um, Arcanai 
and Melee's fat me and fierce combat. Okay, so the the, the king and the uh, the claimant. Um, the rate of Melee's eventual prevailed killing Arcanai. Okay, there we go. So Arcanai, who was a rather strong dragon, but uh, more pretty than strong, lost against Melee's the Red Queen. So that should probably be the end of this war. Yeah. Although she's actually, she's probably, yeah, she's wounded. But she wields Dark Sister. That's so amazing. Okay, and who's supporting her as well? Okay, Bloodstone. Targaryens of Bloodstone. And she's wielding Black Fire. That's so cool. Ride of Deathwing. Wow, these Targaryens. But yeah, the war's already over. It's not really been worth it, actually. Look at these raiders sieging Black Crown. Desmond. Desmond Bulva. House Bulva. At least House Bulva kept, uh, kept the provinces. So that's good. Hard enough Sutcliffe arrived to loot. That's fine. Oh no, that's actually not fine. Okay. Let's raise our men. Um, 16th of April. 21st of April. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna actually gonna... We're gonna try to catch them. With our own troops. We should get the support of uh, Lord Corliss. Yep, Corliss Baratheon is leading uh, 7,000 Old Town troops to, f to defend our, our castle here. That's quite amazing. But we have helped them though. Awesome. Let's get our troops together. Um, just uh, for a short time. But we want to defend against these guys. 3,400 men, that's what we have. We have a Dragon Rider in command. Oh yeah. Alright, stand them down. We don't need them anymore. Okay, so even though I just started the, uh, I started building a castle town here, I think we're gonna make Hightower a capital. It just seems to be much better. And Walter Beesbury now needs officially a guardian. Okay, so Lamour, you will be educated. Educate the child. No, it's the right child, but, um, you want a massive honey bridge. Once become spy master. You know what, actually, yeah, this guy can educate you, that's fine. And then Layla will be educated by our wife, probably. Oh, we're gonna keep her for now, that's fine. And Walter, you will. we will educate you ourselves. Um, who's the most martial? It's actually Rhaegal. Perhaps a dragon rider would do? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, actually, for the beginning, we're gonna make him... We're gonna make the dragon rider educate Walter. And once he's like 10, we're gonna do it ourselves. I think that's a good, that's a good idea. Alright. So we lost a little bit of cash because... We've been raided. So yeah, this is the only problem about Old Town as a capital. Its location is not the best. Um, and that's really what's bothering me. Maybe we'll build... You know what, I'm just gonna build a fort here. Forts can be built in any provinces that you control. Um, okay. Justice, minstrels, acrobats. All have gathered to perform at the festival. Inviting, no inviting noises, tempting scents, and alluring sights. Try, tries to lure, try to lure people to various dance performers and tents. And I... Ooh, interesting. So... Lord Rui is now gregarious, which will give us extra diplomacy and attraction opinion. That's very good. Gregarious is quite a nice trade. But yeah, back to um, over here. Forts can be built in any province that you control, as well as in hostile provinces where you have troops present. They cost 20 to build. Forts lock down your occupation of empty nomad provinces and negate crushing attrition penalty. That's it. Um, you know what? But I think just as a roleplay thing... Building a fort here is good. We're gonna build a fort in order to defend against um, the raiders. Not sure if we can actually do something with it. Probably not, but it's only 20 gold, so it's fine. And Barbara, Lady Barbara Bil Bolton, Barbara Bolton, there she, there we go. Um, she has inherited the rails, but it's gonna be House Servin or Servin that will eventually hold the title. Okay, so let's see if we can actually upgrade our fort. That would be interesting. Fort of Old Town. Okay, we can't do anything with it, but alright, we have it nonetheless. 
It was only 20 gold. I guess it's fine to build that. Probably doesn't yield any benefits, but whatever. Whatever. We could also build a castle town here, and I think we're going to do that. Save up 230 gold to build a uh, castle town here. We've already paid for our son's education, so that should not be a problem. How are you doing? You still have no heir. Yeah. Two more years. Your wife likes me quite a lot. Interesting. <laughs> Your wife likes me more than you do. Um, and we have tons of claims that we could press. Lord of the Whispers. Well, we're not going to do any of that. Golden Tooth has been inherited by a new lord. Not that it really interested, interests me that much, but we're going to have a look nonetheless. Lord Gregor Lorch. Oh, how's the Lorch? Interesting. Do you still hold Clitherdale? Yes, you do. Wow, House Lorch has the High Lorch above the Golden Tooth and Ashmark. Wow. And still House Banefoot rules over the Westerlands. And we have Colin Massey, a rich man now. No more Stormlander. Cool. And, um, my lord, your son Walter's most uncooperative. You lose intrigue. Ah, uh, foolish child. But he's already a poor fighter. Cool. And um, Luther wants me to become chief general, and we will decline once again. You have a uh, strong claim on my stuff, so I'm not interested. Look at the money we're making 7.33 ducats. Awesome. But still takes quite a long time until we get our levies back. It's a shame. And Hector does not seem to like us that much. He's 100%. He still doesn't like us. Or he still doesn't pay any any troops. Can you pay troops? Uh, he doesn't contribute any troops. But perhaps that's just always the case. I... Oh my god. He, this guy keeps asking me. We've built a castle town in Honeyhold. So how much more money we're going to make now? It is only this, this 9 extra... 0.09 ducats that won't really make much but finally wow it's been a year like um, we're no longer wounded we're now scarred but that's fine so we can actually participate in tournaments now very nice and look at that yeah we're making so much more money almost eight ducats a month wow we are rich we are rich I don't want to give up honey hold such a rich castle and yeah so the fort in old town is really not giving us any benefits at all and it seems like we cannot upgrade it. But that's fine. We've built it. And I guess I'm not going to build any other things. But that's kind of a fort that we have at our port. Um, just so that the uh, raiders are going to have a harder time attacking us. Okay. We can build stables. Um, improve the castle. Your daily routine will repeatedly swing your blade at a training dummy. However, you can only learn so much from fighting an inanimate enemy, and the practice gets dreadfully dull after a while. I could use someone to train train with. Um, yeah, definitely. We are a formidable fighter, we are dualists, we have the war focus, so it, that definitely makes sense, I'd say. Um, am I Cody or Rickard Walken? Yes! He's actually someone we could fight with. He's actually better than we are. That would be cool. Oh my god, we could be close friends with that guy. A Stormlander. And he's married to my sister, so it would make sense, actually. Uh, we can imprison somebody. Master Egon. He's leader of a plot. Um, and your plot. There you go, that's fine. Don't need you to imprison- don't need- yeah, don't need to imprison you. It's fine, if you just end your plot. And, um... Fellies of Dragonstone is riding Mogul. Wow, and she's not married yet. Do you want to come to my court? She actually likes me quite a bit. Uh, arrange a marriage. With Garrus Blackmont, my courtier. Yes. Because we want dragons to come to our come to our court, that's why we're doing this. She's ambitious. And she's a bastard. But she does have a claim on the Iron Throne, and I think she'll be quite a good match. For uh, our captain of the household guard and commander, Garrus Blackman, who is a blind from age, but well, he now has a young 
wife to attend to his daily needs. We're almost ready to uh, build the castle town here in, in Old Town. Yeah, all right. So now we're making much more money because the um, salt land after burgers negative modifier has gone away. So we look at that. Awesome. So we could pay, build stables or militia training ground. We're not going to do any of that. For 3,000 gold, we would be able to improve the castle. But I think before we do that, we build all the other stuff first. Like, uh... Catapults? No. No, that's fine. We're going to build Castle Town once we have enough gold. Or do we want to build it here first? Actually, we already do. Oh, no. That's... We have a modifier that reduces cost of buildings. Until July. Hopefully, we're going to make enough money until that. And uh, our brother has just changed his laws. Interesting. Not particularly, to be honest, but fine. And apparently, we're at war with Prince Simon the Accursed of Dawn for Yandri Yornwood's claim on the Stoneway. And we're being, yeah, okay, so the king is being supported by the Vale and the Westerlands. And is the Reach at war? It seems like. No. He must be Liege Loyalist faction or something. Crown Loyalist. Raiders of Pike are doing uh, their misdeeds here. 2,700, that's a lot. I've had times when the Cardice of Elise made me doubt her. But the way she handled the situation when everybody else ran in a different direction to try and catch a chalice thief made me re-evaluate Elise. Approve of Cardice. Okay, so my mother is a craven. I'm a craven. My wife is a craven. And my son is a craven, and now even arbitrary. Ah, uh, maybe Regal, my friend Regal, is not the best. Although he himself is not arbitrary, I don't know why my son is. He's not gonna make for a good lord then. And his rival is Alaris Flowers. Alaris of House Chelstead. Oh, he's one of my courtiers. Hmm. He does not have a guardian? Oh, he does actually, the Septon. But yeah, soon enough, we'll have enough money to build a castle town. And during the war in the Iron Throne... Okay... A Targaryen... And Viserys of King's Landing. Viserys Valerion, who was raiding... Uh, who's riding Vermithor... Um, killed Silverwing. Yeah. That was to be expected. These young dragons have no chance against the big and strong ones. They always just get crushed. Oh my god, I can't wait to see how much money we're making once we get the castle town in Old Town. That's just gonna be ridiculously amazing. Come on, next month. Give me the gold. I want all the gold. Uh, news from afar, my lord. During the war on the Iron Throne, the dragons Visenion and Vermithor met in fierce combat, their riders driving them to tear each other relentlessly. Okay, so Vermithor has killed a second dragon. Okay. Now, actually, I've just come to realize that again, I have lost the... Well, I've left the path of roleplay. Why do I want to build Castle Town, actually? What is my roleplay reason to build a Castle Town? Um, I'm not greedy or anything. I'm diligent. I, if I would build something, it would be uh, military buildings, right? Ah, oh, man, this is just so tough. I, you know, personally, I would just build a castle town. I guess it's going to give me extra tax income, but is there a roleplay reason to build a castle town? I don't really think it is. I think maybe Honey Hole, that was fine, simply because, you know, every ruler wants to maximize its profits, but that and that's our capital, so I guess that makes sense, but... Huh. We could build private farms as well, but we've already done that once. Man, now I think we're just gonna save the money for now. I don't think we're gonna do anything with it, but Morgul has arrived. Okay, because his rider has arrived quite a while ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not the strongest dragon, but he's rather old. More piety for us. Okay, 
how is Walter turning out? He's still arbitrary. Can we uh, force him to train? Not yet. Do we have our dude in training children? Yes, we have. Okay, well, I think I'm going to put a cut in here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Steve Jurunka, signing off.